Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of D'Artagnan Walker and Road to Glory. I'm deciding not to commentate like I have been in the past videos, mainly because I feel like we need to just get back in a Road to Glory and just, you know, do things the way we used to. Um, that opening music I happened to just create a few minutes ago. Hope you guys enjoy it, and if you want me to make some more, I can definitely do that, but I'm probably going to have that as my opening music for a while. So, um, yeah, Baylor's up 7-0 on West Virginia. We are 4-3, and three, I believe, um, as we are coming into this week. And Baylor's pumped after that fourth and inches stop, which leaves us second down and 10. QB looking for a man. D'Artagnan's a wide open right corner. Well, kind of like the right inner corner of the end zone. Let's have a look at this again. Just a nice, easy pass over, and he was wide open for that score. So that's going to put us at third and four. Apparently, we didn't get an uh, extra point. We're going to get a tough first down, but that was a nice six-yard rush, which puts us at second and seven. QB looking for a man. Finds Travis, or never mind, Tyler Thompson across the middle for a nice touchdown pass. We uh, get the PAT this time, apparently... Our kicker did a little better. This time, QB just chucks it for no reason. I don't know who he was intended for, but that's just going to suck as they threw it way too far, and that's just the result of that. So we caught that one for a nice game. We're down in 13. We're down by a lot now, and we just got a lot of catching up to do. Nertanian had a nice reception there. Check this out, he barely was inside the lines, but turns out he was. So fourth quarter now, 326, 37-13, we really have no shot, especially after we throw a pick like that. I think that's, yeah, four turnovers, and it, it was just pretty unbearable that day. So still 37-13, pass, beep, over the middle. It was like a post route that that guy ran. And somehow that guy just ran around um, whoever caught it. And it turns out that, well, defensive coverage broke down. And 37 to 19, and that's, that's your final. Or 37 to 21 is your final score. So we lost that. Never mind, we're not 4 and 3. What? Uh, I totally did not say that. So uh, I think you guys kind of have a feeling what happens next. So week seven was a bye week. We're going to go ahead and upgrade our points. So we're uh, optimized to be a pretty good back. So 81, 85, 90 for uh, overall agility and juke move. We're going to move all these up. So we moved up a skill point for the overall. And now we're coming into week eight against Texas Tech. And... You know, we had a bye week, we're trying to improve, and we start right off the bat with a nice 14-yard reception. Here is a replay of that. My man just wide open and had a pretty good play there. So that puts us 235 in the first quarter. This punt return is looking pretty successful as we were within the 40-yard line. Actually, like the 35 Anyway, first down and 10, hand off to D'Artagnan, run into the middle, and he's got a quick 11-yard rush, but he's getting better every game, it seems like, you know, since we became the starter. So this puts us at a third down and six. QB looking for him. Man, he's got Tyler Thompson once again. In the, and once again, that, um, sorry, say once again a lot, but it was in that right, in the right corner of the end zone. So still 7-0, which turns to 7-7 after somehow they scored, but we didn't realize it. And this is a huge reception. Surprised didn't take this all the way. But Ryan Davis, 66-yard reception, 8 for 10, 136 yards. Pretty extraordinary day for our QB. And D'Artagnan's just breaking tackles. He broke two already in this kickoff return, and he could go all the way, but he got down at the 45. So next play, we're trying, we're trying to get, help our team. 
And it turns out we're going to be able to as we get a nice field goal. I don't know if that was in the um, before halftime, but regardless, we got a field goal. So now we're just trying to wear this Texas Tech defense down as we're getting some pretty good success with that. And there's a first down later in the drive. Well, probably the next play. There's a pass out to Ryan Davis. 15-yard reception. Looking good. Second down and two. Run to the right side. Breaking a tackle. He couldn't quite get the first down, which sets us up at a second and goal. Third quarter winding down. This pass is crazy, and no one's going to get it. So that was the end of the third quarter. And let's see. We have first play in the fourth quarter. It's a pump fake. Oh, that guy jumped offside. He's looking for a man. Uh, took forever for him to throw it. He got him. But yeah, I think that guy was offside. Yep, Jason Haley offside right there. So 24 to 14. And second down and one. We're just going to run right up the middle. Later that drive, second and 11. We tried diving into the end zone, but I guess the AI just didn't want us doing that. Hopped over just cause, and there's a touchdown for D'Artanian Walker. One of his... I don't know how many he's had this game, but that was a solid one. And it looks like we're going to walk out of here with a victory, but Texas Tech somehow comes back 31-21. to D'Artanian just keeps running, and well, we're going to end up winning this game. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I tried to commentate like I used to. Ah. And there's your play of the game, the pass to uh, Ryan Davis. That resulted in a nice touchdown. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to get, I think, week 9 and 10 in the next episode. So we're going to try doing two game episodes now that we're, you know, full-time running back and... That's how that's been. So hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time for the next episode.